Summer vacation is winding down. On Monday, most triad kids will be returning to the classroom. Many will be starting new schools, and the same thing goes for staff. For one principal, it's new yet old at the same time. Uh, right here at Bessemer Elementary School, it has the little sign picture on the wall, Bessemer Bobcat. And this is him, and he's on his way. It's Dr. Jonathan Brooks' first year as principal of Bessemer Elementary. But the school isn't new to him. Some of the same um, classrooms and, and, and playgrounds and things like that are, are familiar um, because a few years ago uh, I was here as a student. Dr. Brooks attended kindergarten there. I hadn't been in this building in 30 years. Um, until I was named principal here. Growing up, he attended Guilford County Schools, from Bessemer to Kaiser Middle and then Grimsley High School, where he played football. Later, he became the first person in his family to graduate from college. He's been a principal for five years outside of the triad, but for year number six, he's finally getting a homecoming. There was definitely an opportunity to, uh, too good to pass up, to have a, a chance to work and walk the halls and be an example for students that currently live in, in, in the neighborhood that I grew up in. His mother, Angela Brooks, is excited to have him home, but says it's hard seeing her son grow up so fast. I, I can remember back when I put him on the school bus and I had to make his homemade bus tag with the number because I was so nervous, you know, don't lose my child. <laughs> so I can remember that now you're driving your own car and pulling up and you're, you know, you're the principal. So it's bittersweet, it really is. Dr. Brooks says his mom, who doubled as his first teacher, always encouraged him and stressed the importance of education. It's, it's really amazing to just sit back and think about it. I'm so proud. I'm so proud as a mother to, to say, that's my son. You know, he, he did that, you know, and it makes me feel good as a mother to know that I had an impact on that. Now, Principal Brooks is settling in and getting ready for the new school year. It's always a dream of mine to have an opportunity to one day go back and, and, and work um, in a school uh, where I attended as a student. And so this is a dream come true. Wow. Welcome home. Yeah, absolutely. Full circle there, you know, and, and <laughs> what's going to be great is the kids, you know, are going to say, well, you don't know what it's like to whatever. And it's like, well, no, I, I know exactly what it's <laughs> that's like. true. I actually <laughs> learned in this building. And that's going to be a dream come true for him, too, because mm -hmm. I understand that he was working outside of the Piedmont Triad for several years mm -hmm. and then being to come, be yeah. able to come back home, celebrating the holidays without having to drive so far and look at his mom. How proud oh, yeah. she is. She's very proud. <laughs> it's just got to be weird to walk those halls and feel like I'm in charge now. Because right. you probably remember, you know, when you go back to your elementary school, if you were, I remember just how big everything looked. <laughs> you know, you, you were a short person. Yes. Right. Now he's in charge. So. And there's such a change, too, because remember, in your mind, those yes. desks were big. Sure. Remember? And then you go back and you visit your old <laughs> schools and say, I don't remember them being so small. <laughs> Class starts on Monday. Hope everybody's ready. Yes, we will be thinking of him. Mm -hmm. Good luck.